This tutorial will be how to sew this top, so let's jump right in. The seam allowance for this top is one centimeter. With the two front pieces right sides together, cut notches where marked on the pattern. I also highlighted them with some chalk so they're easier to see. Then sew all the way up around, skip the notch area, do that little U, skip the notch area, and then go up around the other side. It should look like this with a gap at the stitches and you can leave the sides bottom unstitched. Start with a reverse stitch always to secure and then go up around and when you get to the end of the strap, leave the needle in, lift your presser foot and turn it so you get a nice sharp corner. Then do the same to go back down the other side on the neckline. You can either use a sewing machine or a serger for this. When you get to the end, do another back stitch and then skip that little notched area and then do the U portion. Make sure to just slowly turn your fabric around if you have to, lift your presser foot like I'm doing, and then go to the other notch, back stitch. Lift your presser foot and then start at the next notch, but here's how it should look at this point. And then I'm gonna start at the next notch, go up around, and now I'm just cutting the excess seam allowance so that it isn't bulky when I turn it right side out. Here is what it should look like with the notches left untrimmed. Next, just going to turn this front piece right side out. So I'm just using my finger, just pushing it through and pulling the strap. And then you can always use a pen or something to push it all the way out. And here is what the front should look like at this point. Next, we're going to top stitch two lines on both sides. I use chalk so you can see it easily here. And we're just gonna sew straight lines where the notches are. Make sure that excess seam allowance at that open portion is tucked in so it lays nice and flat. I'm just gonna do a back stitch, sew a straight line, and then back stitch on the other end. And here's how it should look. It's just a nice top stitch and then do the other side. You can either do a contrasting stitch or a matching stitch like I did. And here's how the channel should look. Next, we're going to get some elastic, mine is one inch, and measure your under bust area. And then use that measurement to cut half of what your under bust is. So it should just cover the front. Next, we're gonna use the same fabric to make a casing for the elastic so that it matches the top where it's shown. So I'm just folding the fabric over and cutting on a fold a little bit wider than my one inch elastic, so it should be about 1.25 inches, and just cut the length with about a centimeter of seam allowance at the ends. So I end up with a rectangle like so. Next, I'm going to fold this long ways, right sides together, and so the length of this rectangle. Make sure to do your back stitch and then sew all the way down to the other end. Now I'm using my loop turner or you can use a safety pin or whatever method you'd like to turn this right side out. Next, I am also using my loop turner, or you can use a safety pin, to push the elastic all the way through that band that you just made. And make sure that the seam aligns with the edge of the elastic so that it lays nice and flat. And then pull the band so it covers the whole length of the elastic. And now you have a nice matching elastic band for your shirt. I clip the edges so it all stays together nicely. Next, I am going to use a safety pin and get the elastic and two layers of fabric in this and use the safety pin to push that elastic band through the channels that I made earlier. So I'm just gonna start on one end, thread it through the two layers of fabric and push it out the other end Make sure in the middle the seam allowance stays tucked inside. It might pull out at first, but just tuck it back in and then you'll have a nice clean finish. And make sure you don't pull the elastic band 
out the other end so I clipped all my layers together on one side so I didn't accidentally pull it too far through and have to redo it. And then do it through the other side and now you have the front of your top with a matching elastic band. Next, while it's not necessary, I do recommend doing a stitch to hold all these layers together just to hold everything in place. This is called a basting stitch. Um, it's just a straight stitch to keep that elastic and all the layers of fabric. I did not do this for my top because I used a thicker fabric, but you should hem the top of the back piece before you do this step. So make sure you hem the top and then once you sew the sides, then you can hem the entire bottom of the top. So once you do that, sew the two sides and just make sure to do a back stitch and then sew all the way over. You're sewing through the elastic and the layers of fabric for the elastic portion and then just down to the other end. There may be a little excess bulk at the seam allowance, so I just snipped that corner so it doesn't show. The final step is to hem the bottom of the whole shirt. Since the front has two layers, I recommend cutting the bottom layer a little bit shorter so that it's easy to just do a double fold hem all the way around and then your top is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see your makes.